tired of this. <clears throat> okay. Um, More page. Page, page six. six. It's um, the big paragraph in the middle. I have a couple of stars. I've also got page 13, two paragraphs there. So with page and page six, 16. And I think we previously addressed this when it <clears throat> came up on direct. Um, again, it states things about Miss Cecil, not necessarily Mr. Greenwell. So, landlord knew her phone number, knew her cell phone, knew her name, everything else. Nobody ever tried to contact us, at least for as I know, nobody ever tried to contact us, which the apartment wasn't even, it was her apartment. Um, Does Miss Cecil's attorney have an objection to me introducing that, eliciting that information? Your Honor, I have an objection as an admissible hearsay. And Judge, I think well, we're I don't entitled know to the how, words. I don't know where the hearsay is coming in. Well, I just heard, okay, that someone got shot. Something like that. I mean, stay away to get it from me. Well, the, be honest. I'm not, no one ever tried to contact us. That's not hearsay. As far as I know, nobody ever tried to contact us. The, I'm going to let her do that. I'm going to let her read that. I don't believe that that's uh, objectionable. <laughs> What's the next one? Uh, page. Your Honor, if I just may clarify my objection, I understand the court's ruling. I would just, for the record, like to um, place on there that everything in this statement is hearsay. It, it is yeah. Miss Erskine's client, so yeah. everything in there is hearsay. But you paraphrase the paragraph, and I'm asking for the paragraph to come that in. That paragraph, not any okay. of the others. Page I 13, that. what? Um, page 13, that giant paragraph here. Um, you know, I, I he paragraphed. He paraphrased it. Well, there's a lot of it. There in is here. a lot. There's a lot. Now that's a lot different from this one. I understand that. It's hugely different. Um, but, but he did. I he, he, he did paraphrase that he went in there, you know, and and I, 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 re, I really feel that we're entitled to, to Mr. Greenwell's exact words on what he actually said because it talks about. I mean, it's his it's an entire confession basically in one paragraph, and, and he paraphrased it, and I think. For fairness' sake and, and the world completeness' sake, we're at least entitled to Mr. Greenwell's actual words. And Your Honor, I actually think this was the paragraph that I corrected Detective Royce on, and that actually I read out loud, um, stating that Daryl was over there. And there's it a was paraphrased mm -hmm. though by the detective. Okay. So, do you have an objection to them reading that? Um, I have an objection to them reading the portions about Jody. I don't. I do, Your Honor. Yeah, I think it's sure. an admissible hearsay. There's a lot in here that she... If you would like me to start... It's going to be short. It's going to be clicked together. It'll be together by the end of the trial. Well, but that doesn't satisfy that now. Mr. Greenwald takes the stand. If the court would like me to start at the... you, you got to take away yeah, her. That, um, I can start at Doug and read the rest of the paragraph. The start at Doug, okay. And I say that without waiving any prior <laughs> objection. No, they're here. And what's the last one? Um, th there's a second paragraph on that same page. It's the last one. I freaked out. I was, etc. I think. Where? Thirteen. I think you may have read that as well. Okay. Into the record. I'd like to just read it. That, that's not. I actually, think Detective Lewis read that. I think he did too. She can go back over that. Okay. And then one last one. Um. What page? Starting with page sixteen. Starting with, did you have the gun on? going to about Where are we? Um, middle of the page did you have the gun on you going to I understand where if, if, so if there nobody, was, nobody, was, nobody okay. was okay did you have the gun on you and then at the end I understand I believe he paraphrased it again about the protection I'd like to just get out his words Again, it, it states just for her protection. I actually think that the indicate this interview starts off with Miss Cecil stating that this is a stash house, that this apartment is a stash house that mm -hmm. she is using. So there is indication that she is selling drugs, um, and that is why he has the gun. So if they are saying, I've got this gun on me for her protection, I think that opens the door into everything else, which I don't want to get into. What so if we just redact the word her and just say just, just for, for protection? protection. That's fine. Can That's you live fine. with that if I start yes. with, okay, did he have the gun? All right. For, for protection. Okay. <clears throat> All right.
right, let's run this out.